If you're in the market for Bluetooth earbuds for the shop, you've come to the right place. These earbuds took the top spot for sound isolation. Now let's talk about sound quality. These earbuds sound great. I wish you guys could test all of these for yourselves to add your opinion. These are the accessories that come with the X3s, foam and silicone tip earbuds, as well as something they call ear fins. Notice the proprietary charging cable, as well as a sleek carrying bag with their logo. After watching Mark's review, I bought the Jaybird X3 solely to see if the work is ear protection. I listen to podcasts and music in my workshop, and I can't lie, but I presently pretend my current headphones are blocking out all the noise. Something I hadn't thought of was I needed something to compare the X3s against in the review. Say hello to every earbud I had in the junk drawer. Now with other earbuds to compare against the X3s, I'm going to need some noisy tools to test. I learned from my CNC enclosure video, my loudest tools, and the decimals they produce. To give me a better understanding of how to rate each earbud, I started each test by trying it out first with proper ear protection to set a base of what it should sound like. I found over the years ear muffs are great in the winter for keeping your ears warm, but extremely hot on hot days. These green earplugs are great for hot days, but I found neither one allow you to listen to music or podcast comfortably, and thus the review of the X3s. Samsung AKG, 7 out of 10. Apple EarPods, 4 out of 10. US CCE, 5 out of 10. Klisp, S4i, 5 out of 10. Jaybird X3's foam tips, 10 out of 10. Jaybird X3 silicone tips, 9.9 .9 out of 10. When it came to the test of the circular saw, it had zero high-pitched noise and sounded like a mid-range hum. The same was true for the router, nothing but a mild hum and very comfortable to the ears. I decided to test the X3s with tools running and my music on. I could clearly hear the music over the saw and router without having to raise the volume and was still able to safely know that the tool was running. Mark was right, they're 100% soundproof in every test I gave it, but I wanted to do a new test, and one that would test the Bluetooth distance, indoors that had no issues, so I moved outside to see how far I could go. I'm not sure the official distance in feet, I would guess close to 75 yards. On further review, I look much slimmer at the distance, so look for future reviews reporting from my neighbor's lawn. The Clisp are very flat sounding earbuds, no bass, but do an excellent job of phone calls and listening to podcasts. Samsung AKGs rated the lowest in my testing with no bass whatsoever. It also gave out a very flat sound. If your child asks for headphones for an iPad at a restaurant, these are the ones you give them. The US CCE is a tiny step better than the last two as it has a faint sound of bass and clearly fair sound. The last two earbuds did great with phone calls, but these earbuds suck when it comes to trying to have a conversation over them. The Apple EarPods I've always considered to be utter junk as they've always been painful with their hard plastic and seem to magically tie themselves in knots. But after testing them, I found these earbuds have crazy bass and great sound quality. 
They suck as ear protection, but I think I'll treat them a little better in the junk drawer going forward. The Jaybird X3s took first place in all my tests. They work 100% of the time as earplugs. The sound quality is outstanding, and they're the most comfortable earbuds I've ever owned, foam or silicone tipped. They have lots of meaty bass that are comparable to the Apple EarPods, if you have those to test. But the fun doesn't stop there. You can download the app, which allows you to customize your lows, mids, and highs. You for sure want lows when listening to music with bass, and you will find you prefer to lose the bass and go for something a little flatter when listening to a podcast. The app allows you to create and save those custom setups so you can switch back at any time. All right, guys, so what's my review on these? Well, let's talk about some pros of them. They work great as ear protection. They actually passed every single test that I used them on. So absolutely good. The only thing I would like to do that I haven't is take them out to the gun range, but I think they would pass as they passed everything else out here in my shop. The next thing is, is to mention that they're super lightweight. They don't weight down my head. And this design of these little clips here in the back, keep it from getting caught on your neck. And if you put them under your ears like this, they have a tendency of the neck catching on them and they'll pull out of your ear. But if you do the over the ear thing like I was showing you in the video, where you do it like this and then this, this will actually hold on to them and they won't fall out. I've never had them come out doing that. Uh, the ear fins, I'm not a big fan of them. They actually start to hurt my ears after a while, so uh, maybe they won't hurt yours, but they did mine, so just going with this method seemed to work perfect. Now then, also, the amount of time that you can listen to them. I'm going to believe them on eight hours. I know I've done, for sure, six hours nonstop, and it worked great. Uh, after about six hours, the wife came home, and you know I had to take them out and pause it and stuff like that. But for sure, at least six hours nonstop works great. Uh, I believe I'm at eight hours on a, a brand new pair. So anyway, good stuff there. Uh, the quality of sound is just amazing. Now, you can't hear what I'm hearing when I'm out there showing off each one, but the amount of bass this has, there's like a meatiness of bass. You know, I had a truck growing up that had, you know, 212s. And it's not 212s in your ears, but at least it's something that sounds good. So the quality, the highs and the lows and the mids, they all sound great. It actually sounds, when I first listened to them for the very first time, it sounded as if like I was at the, a band that was live or an orchestra that was live. It literally sounded like I was there. I listen to a lot of podcasts when I'm working, and this sounded great in regards to like, I, I literally sound like I'm in the room with that person doing the podcast. So it does a great job on that. Um, the customization of the app is key. Uh, they send them to you and it's flat and, and that's okay. But a lot of these sounded like that until I customized it. Uh, if you go onto the low side and push it all the way up, you get the most bass. Um, but you'll find that having the most bass when you're listening to a podcast, it doesn't sound as good. You might want to do a little more high so you can just hear a normal voice. But when you're listening to a song, you want something a little meatier and thumpier. Um, the tangle freeness of this is nice. It's got the, the flat band, and I found over time that these flat bands really do a nice job of not being able to get tangled. I don't ever really get them in a knot. Uh, they just do an excellent job of that. And uh, unless you're doing it, you know, of course, behind the head and doing it flat like this. For some reason, the under ear method always falls out where the over ear never needs adjusted or pushed back in. The X3's Bluetooth is for sure safer, better sounding, and works as ear protection from now on in my shop. I'll leave a link in the description to check out Mark's video at the Wood Whisperer where he reviews the X3's along with many other competing Bluetooth headphones for his shop. We are just moments away from releasing Snuffy, the rescued seal, back into the ocean. And now you see it. Snuffy's triumphant return. No! Holy shit. Shark Week.